Welcome back to the program. You are watching Political Hot Pot here on the Thai ASEAN News Network. And we were just discussing the rising price of commodity goods. And we're moving along now to discussing the Prime Minister's meeting with the Election Commission. That's coming up on Friday. Um, so first of all, Friday's meeting is expected to help the Prime Minister decide when to dissolve the House and then after that subsequently call a snap election. Now taking all factors into consideration given this week's uh, polit politics, uh, domestic politics, do you think the House will be dissolved by the end of this month, by the end of March? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no chance. Thinking. No, no way. No <laughs> way. The, the, Why is the, that? The Prime Minister show a lot of his eagerness uh, as if he really wants to dissolve the House. Yeah. Actually, if needs be, he would want to stay on until the end of the year. We due to a lot of pressure from from coming from from all directions. He just uh, try to be uh, what uh, pretentious, I would say, uh, huh? to show off his obvious sincerity that wow, we want the election for what? Because if he really wants to become prime minister again, why does he want to have another election just to spend money? Uh, just to uh, you want you want to uh, what? Uh, give around, uh, give give money around to the people through vote buying. After raising two hundred seven hundred fifty million baht for that party, and then I've got enough money now. We can go to elections. Huh? Is that so? But no, I don't think so. I mean, the the uh, coalition partners wouldn't want to have election that soon. But anyway. So you're saying the prime minister is just m making it appear as though he wants to go this to election. Just watch his words. Well, sometime in March, sometime in April, sometime in May, and in June, he just, you know, just uh, try to uh, talk his way out of his, uh, of the tight corner all the time. Uh, just try to appease the people. But Even I the rich don't think. Uh, think. Upon, what do you mean by vote buying, though? Can you just explain? What's your understanding of the prime minister's vote buying tactics? No, I mean the politicians go out mm. to buy votes so that they can be elected. To, to become house members, that's normal practice. So, so, so all the if politicians, uh, if they're honest with themselves, they don't lie. Everybody buy uh, buys vote. We know all know that. Uh, uh, by by whatever means, uh, they, they 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 might like it. That the prime minister wants to talk to the election commission to say when is the possible time, perfect time to have the general election so that he can dissolve the house he continue why should why should why should he care about the, the general the election commission he can dissolve the house today tomorrow and whenever, then he, tomorrow. Wants. whenever he wants yeah. if if he's that sincere if he if show really good intention to to have general elections no but i think i think the, the main point that he wants to discuss with the election commission is uh the organic law that has to come mm -hmm. into effect yeah. uh, as to the number of uh, of House speakers, the the recently revived uh, revised law, the uh, Constitution, that uh, you know adjusted the numbers around, and obviously that organic law has to be uh, completed before they can go into elections. I think the time frame in which the Prime Minister is talking about is uh, ha is based upon how quickly those laws uh, can be in place before he can dissolve Parliament and go into snap elections. However, uh, I, I agree with Kun Sopan on one point, is that I don't think he wants to go into elections too early. Um, when we were talking about this late last year, and uh, they were, the Democrats were doing a very, very good popular pr popularity vote at that time. Their support was good, uh, the sentiment was good. I think from December on, onwards, and now it's m about mid-March, um, that has gone down the drain. So I think that his sentiment, his eagerness uh, to go to elections at that point and at this point has somewhat changed. Uh, if I were the prime minister, I'd so say to myself, well, you know what, let's do something to actually try to gain back the support that we were enjoying late last year yes. and try to garner back some of that support before we go into elections to make sure we have some sort of um, foundation uh, approval in terms of foundation, I, and, and, and this is something that is, is very, very important, because if, if you were to call elections right now, I don't think the, the Democrats would enjoy 
a large Given how disgruntled pop people are. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, let's leave that behind for now because uh, as this tape goes to air tomorrow, uh, we will, or rather today, uh, that meeting may have happened already. But speaking about the Prime Minister, Capo issued a security uh, order banning traffic <laughs> around his house. That's uh, so Convitsai 31. Uh, now, apparently now traffic is moving, but can we just talk about why that ban was put into place and why that was necessary as well? Wasn't it Kuntai Wat who... I, I, I suspect uh, it was a case of uh, the police <laughs> authorities uh, doing something, you know, overly, uh, a bit, uh, you know, <laughs> trying a bit too much, you know, um, to, to please the prime minister. I think that the police are uh, under some uh, some impression that from some intelligence reports that are, uh, I mean, there would be a number of uh, protesters, you know, demonstrators uh, going around to uh, to give uh, trouble, to make trouble to, to the prime minister at his house, and you know? also I think that uh, they just uh, they ju they got uh, a bit uh, uh, panicky and uh, just wanted uh, to preempt uh, such uh, demonstrations. Yes. I think that is uh, going to backfire on the prime minister. I think the police <laughs> might want to uh, to I think intensify the public. Uh, hate campaign against uh, directed at the <laughs> Prime Minister, you know. It's a good wish, but 